to keep them warm in cold weather, too. Yeah, creatures who live where it snows, like a moose or a bighorn sheep, need a thick, furry coat to help them make it through the winter. I wonder if Zabu's fur coat is keeping him warm enough today. Let's ask him. Hey, Zabu! Zabu! Hey, Zabu! How you doing, buddy? You keeping warm out there? You know Zabu. No chat till he's had his snack. <laughs> wow, your fur is so soft. Bet he keeps you warm on cold rainy nights in Madagascar. So, what do you think Zabu wants to eat today? I love you, Zabu. How about apples? <laughs> All right. Zabu, I got an apple for you. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> no, not the whole thing. That's too much. Here, no, wait. Hey, here, I cut a piece for you. There you go. Uh, oh, you want that big piece? <laughs> Give me some of the food! <laughs> Hello there. I like being here. And I like eating lots of snacks, too. Yeah, we know that. Manga Chica. I like the things you wear. <laughs> and mostly, I like your hat. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a hat, Sob. That's my jacket. I use it to keep me warm when I go mountain biking. Jacket. Or you could call it a coat. Coat! <gasps> coat is what the Manga Chica animal I saw had on. Who'd you see this time, Sob? Oh, he was big. And he had a big coat. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> this mystery animal has three big bumps. One is a head and two are humps. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. And very furry, too. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He's a big coated, two humped furry creature. Do you know who he is? Okay, let's figure this out. Two humps on his back. Moves his mouth from side to side. Long legs and knobby knees. And a shaggy coat. Do you know who it is? Yeah, a, a camel! Uncle Zika, Mr. Animal's here. Hey. <laughs> this camel is big. Yeah, he's a big two-humped camel. Yeah. There are two types of camels. One type has one hump, the other type has two humps. Yeah, and this two-humped camel is called a Bactrian camel. Bactrian, 
What a funny name for a camel, Bactrian. Look at all this shaggy fur. It's amazing how much fur this camel has. Wow, fur. <laughs> I have fur. Yeah, have you got fur? Oh, I forgot. You don't have fur, except on your head. He's so shaggy. I think I'll call him Shagamel the Camel. <laughs> yeah, Shagamel. <laughs> you know what I love about him? His head is so huge. Look at that. Wow. And look at this big, thick neck, too. Yeah, he does have a big neck. Oh, at least he has a neck. Oh. Mm -hmm. I love a camel's <laughs> nostrils. See how they're just two slits? That keeps sand out of the camel's nose. Yeah, look how they open and close when I pet his nose. His nostrils can close? Well, let me try. Yeah, <laughs> neat. I don't think I can travel very far like that, though. Camel steps with funny feet. You know how hard it is to walk in the sand? Well, a camel's feet are so big and round, so he doesn't sink into the sand when he's walking in the desert. Dessert? Dessert? What's for dessert? Mangoes? <laughs> Not dessert, Tom. Desert. A desert is where a camel lives. Where there's hardly any rain, lots of sun, and lots and lots of sand everywhere. Yeah, a camel is one amazing creature, all the way from the tip of his nose to his big head down his long neck to his two humps here, all the way back to his big muscular legs. I'm so glad a camel came in. Hey, it sounds like he's being bugged by something. I know. I know what's bugging the camel. He's got sand in his eyes from the desert. Let's check it out. OK. Whoa. The camel has long eyelashes. Yeah, those long eyelashes help a camel keep sand out of his eyes. Oh. So, huh. there's no sand in this camel's eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get sand all over me when I go to the beach. Oh, there's more than sand at the beach, there's water. You know what? Maybe the camel's thirsty. Well, he's in the right place, because Animal Junction is an oasis. Let's bring on the water. <laughs> For some creatures, this is a good swimming hole, but this is better. For some kids, this would be like a pool. But for a camel, this is a cold drink on a hot day. How about a drink? He's thirsty? Want some water? Hmm. Maybe we'll put it down. Guess he's not thirsty. Hey, huh. maybe the camel wants to get his water from leaves, like a lemur. That's how lemurs get a drink a lot of the time. We eat leaves, because there's water in leaves. Whoa! Hey, camel, want a drink? Well, guess not, huh? <laughs> Camels get some of their water from the food they eat, but mostly they get water from water. Oh, I know what's wrong with the camel. What's up? Well, his lip. It's broken. <laughs> it's not broken, Zob. That's the way a camel's lip is supposed to be. Camels eat vegetation that's really low to the ground, so the split lip helps them gather up food so they can bite it off. Oh, so his lip's supposed to be like that. You got it, Zob. I know. I know what's bugging the camel. Well, maybe he's hungry. I know just the thing. What? Just have to make an adjustment here. There we go. <laughs> I gotta remember this trick. Huh? Oh. Thanks. <laughs> here you go, Chris. Here's something for him to eat. Great, Sob. How about some hay? Hey, he does seem a little hungry. But this camel isn't starving. So that's not the problem. But that reminds me of my friend who needed food in Zabu land. I was leap leaping <laughs> along. Leap, 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 leap. When I saw Google. Hello, Google. How are you? And Google said, oh, I'm sad. My Google belly is empty. 
and I can't find any goobleberries to fill it anywhere. I know where some goobleberries are. Follow me. So I led Goobel to a goobleberry patch. Oh, coming. <gasps> See? <gasps> goobleberries! Goobel was so happy, he started singing. Oh, 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 goobleberries, goobleberries. I love to gobble goobleberries. Goobleberries, goobleberries. And Goobel <laughs> ate so many goobleberries that his goobel belly grew big and round. I said, your belly is full now, Goobel. And he said, Oh, thanks for solving my problem. Uh, and while Goobel slept, his belly made noises like a camel. <laughs> the end. Hmm, now I have to solve Shagamel's problem. This camel's still not happy. I want to help the camel. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but what can we do? We've tried everything. Hey, camel, what's the matter? Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, well, the camel's fur is falling off. I broke his coat. You didn't break it, Zob. The camel's just shedding. Shedding? What's shedding? Well, shedding is when an animal loses his fur. Hmm. When it gets warm out, a camel doesn't need all this thick, heavy fur, so he sheds. Well, maybe he needs help shedding. Yeah. Great idea. Huh. Yeah. Here we go. Pull this up. Yeah. That's <laughs> shedding. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Whoa. I'll just gently pull this out. And all this thick fur can be really itchy and uncomfortable. There you go, buddy. The more we help the camel shed, the better he'll feel. But only take the loose hairs. Oh, hey, stop. <laughs> hey, I'll get some brushes. Camel hair, it's everywhere. Try that. Thanks. Yeah. What are you doing? Just helping. <laughs> hey, thanks, Bob. Whoa. Get some of that top. Thanks. You're welcome, buddy. Camel hair is everywhere. It's all over me. <laughs> is it hot in here or what? It is hot. That's because you have a camel hair coat on. That's why the camel was so upset. He was hot. Yeah, now I'm hot, too. And I'm hot. And I'm hot. Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, fly away! Fly away! Uh, <laughs> Shigamel feels good, and now I'm feeling camelish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel camelish. How about you? Camelish. Camel, camel, camelish. Camel, camel, camelish. I'm a two-humped Bactrian walking through the sand. Camelish! Yay, we did it! Shigamel's happy now. <laughs> Hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shigamel says thanks for helping me. Shigamel's leaving. See you later, Camel. Goodbye, Mangatsika Camel. Come back soon. Brothers! I can't believe my mind. Brothers! Look! Penguins! <laughs> penguins! They're African penguins. Hi, guys. <laughs> and I know what they're looking for. Water! They're headed straight for the pool. <laughs> penguins love the cold water. But... Do you know how they stay warm in water that's practically freezing? Penguins have fat and feathers that let them stay warm in the cold water. Oh, who needs fat and feathers? I spin to stay warm. I'm going in. 
One. No, 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 no. Two. No, no, Martin, Martin, you'll be too cold in that ice water. Remember? It's great for penguins, but not for Krat Brothers. You're right, Zob. Yeah. Penguins have fat and feathers to keep them warm in icy mm -hmm. water. I don't. Oh, the penguins are going home now. Bye, penguins! Come back for a swim anytime. Incoming. Duck! duck! <laughs> it is a duck. Yeah, and look at these warm and waterproof feathers. Did you know that every year, a duck loses its old feathers and grows new ones? It's called molting, and molting is the bird and feather version of shedding. Camels shed, ducks molt. And let's see what Jackie and the animal helpers are doing. Hi, you guys. You know what? I've got a big job today. I'm helping Goldie take off her winter coat. Now that it's spring, she doesn't need a heavy coat anymore. So I'm brushing her to get all that extra hair out. Dogs really like it. Cats like it too. Hey, Sabu, do you like being brushed? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Can you go a little lower? <laughs> right. oh, oh, that's nice. Oh. Hey, Sabu, I've been huh? brushing you for a while, right? Mm -hmm. But look. No hair is coming off in the brush. Well, that's because I'm from Madagascar. Uh, I don't have any extra hair you can brush off. Oh, yes, mm. because in Madagascar, you don't have snowy winters. No. So, you don't need an extra warm winter coat. Just like giraffes in Africa. Or some kangaroos in hot places in Australia. They don't need a lot of fur because they live in warm places. But some animals in really cold places need a lot of fur to get through the winter. We need special winter clothes, too. Oh, I'm out of here! We would freeze to death out there. Aren't there any animals who won't freeze? Oh, yeah, Zabu, a lot of animals. There are great animals out there who are all ready to deal with the cold. Oh. Hey, I smell a trip coming on. I hear you loud and clear, bro. Hey, will you find out about animals' clothing? Sure, Zob. But first, we have to get our clothes. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. So, uh, are you going in the closet then, guys? Sure, Zob. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, the closet. That's where all our clothes are. We're going to the closet. Well, why don't you want to go to the closet? Well, we do want to go to the closet. Yeah, we love the closet. The closet's great. What's wrong with the closet? No problem with the closet. Oh, we love the closet. Excellent closet. Can't wait to get that closet. Best closet around. Ah, oh, they think all the stuff will fall out on them. <laughs> Zabu, you in there? You okay, Zab? <laughs> One sweater, two sweaters. I almost couldn't find your sweaters. You guys should really keep your closet much neater. Thanks, Zob. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Bye, brothers. See you, Zob. Let's go. Geese overhead. Geese have lots of waterproof feathers to keep them warm. And they have an extra warm layer of down underneath their feathers, too. Kind of like my fleece. And that layer of down keeps them nice and toasty. Check out their feet. They're webbed and they're naked. Not a feather, no fur, no fat, just plain old skin and tendons. And geese don't have much feeling in their feet either. What's wrong? C -c cold, cold. Oh. Bet that feels frosty. I wish I had feet like a goose, then I wouldn't feel the cold. Or if I had feet like a lynx, I could walk around in the snow all day because lynx feet are covered with thick, warm fur. Wouldn't it be great to have fur on your feet? Or feathers, like a snowy owl who lives in the Arctic where it's really freezing. And to stay warm, a snowy owl has feathers that cover her feet. Look at those feathers. But some creatures don't just have fur or feathers to help them stay warm, they have fat. Look at those polar bears jiggle. The fat is right under their fur, so they have double protection from the cold. And that keeps them nice and toasty in the coldest places. We've got the three Fs. Fur, feathers, 
and fat. These animals are really built for staying warm in the winter. Yeah, but I'm freezing. Hey, hear that? Yeah, but where's it coming from? Do you know who makes that sound? Yeah, otters! Some river otters live in really cold places, so they need special fur to keep them warm. Yeah, river otters have soft under fur, which keeps them warm, which is covered by long, hard, oily outer fur, which keeps them dry. That lets them swim in freezing cold water. Otters never let the cold get them down. And you know what else is great about their fur? An otter's sleek fur makes them really great at tobogganing. And this toboggan makes us really good at tobogganing. Otters have discovered the fourth app! Fun! <laughs> An otter could have handled that turn. Yeah, otters are creatures who really know how to slide. I think it's time to head back to Animal Junction. Downhill? Downhill. Otter style! Yeah. <laughs> You're a really big creature, just like Shigel. So, what do you want to do now? Where's Sab? I'm where the fur is. Whoa. Wow. Sabu made a new animal friend. My new friend is so furry, he's warm to sit on. <laughs> Your new friend is a yak, Sabu. Yak. Yak. Yak, 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 yak. Yaks are amazing creatures. They live way high up in the mountains where no other mammals live. It's all this thick fur that lets the yak be comfortable in the nastiest, coldest weather. And other animals live in lots of snow, too, like Japanese macaques. Not only do these monkeys have thick fur to keep warm, they also love hanging out together in natural hot springs. Does the yak remind you of any farm animal you know? Yeah, a cow. A yak is a wild relative of a cow. The horns the hooves, the basic head shape, all very cow-like. In fact, cows came from wild ancestors that looked a lot like a yak. Check out those horns. Horn. Horn. If you ever mess with a yak, you have to deal with these horns. Wait a second. There are horns like this. Uh, and there are horns like these. Let me try. <laughs> huh. This horn doesn't make any noise. Huh. Try it again. Okay. <laughs> this horn makes a funny noise. Blow your horn. <laughs> Yaks have lots of fat and fur to keep them warm in the cold weather. Fat, fur, and feathers. Three of the Fs. <laughs> not feathers, Hop. Just two Fs. Fat and fur. Well, not like my friend Wiggy in Zabu Land. Wiggy? Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap. 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 And then I stopped because I wanted to go up Mount Zabumufu. Ah, Zabu! And then Wiggy flew by. <laughs> I want to go too! <laughs> but Wiggy. It's very cold on top of Mount Zabumufu. I have fur to keep me warm, but it's too cold up there for you. <laughs> Don't worry, my feathers will keep me warm. Oh yeah? <laughs> well then, let's go. Oh, wait for me. Oh, I want to go up too. But Google, it's very cold on Mount Zabumufu. <laughs> Wiggy has feathers to keep her warm, and I have fur to keep me warm, but it's too cold up there for you. Oh, there's no problem, Zabu. I've been eating gobbleberries all day, so my fat will keep me warm. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, then, let's go. Oh, but I might need some help. I'll help. I'll help. So we climbed and climbed and climbed. As we climbed, it got colder. I mean, with a fat belly, it's fun. And colder and colder. But our fur, feathers, and fat kept us warm. And then we heard a friendly voice. Uh, I, uh... Hello? It was Snow Lemur, and we all jumped around on the top of Mount Zabumufu and had a lot of fun. Hooray for the forest! 
The end. I had four Fs today. You had four Fs? Yeah, fun, 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 when I was feeling camelish. <laughs> yeah, and I had four Fs when we were hanging out with the Shaggy Yak. And I had four Fs when we played with the otters. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Yeah. See you, Zabu! Keep on leaping! <laughs> Chris, what do you say we go cool off with other creatures who have another F? Fins! Great idea. <laughs> See you later! Hi, my name is Ryan. I would like you to meet my lop-eared rabbit, Dumper. Yeah.